Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We had a great question. Somebody was after text overlaid partially over an image. So they wanted half of it sticking out and half of it over the image. We got three different ways to do this today. And they're all really easy. And you can come up with some great features here. You really can. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Let's go down, we'll delete these sections and we'll start from scratch. That one. This one. And we'll just delete the row and this one. Okay, the first one's pretty straightforward here. Okay, I'm going to add a new row now. I'm going to use two columns in my row. I'm going to close that down. I'm actually going to go into my second column right here, column number two. I'm going to add a blurb module to it. Now you can do this with just about any module you want. I'm just going to use a blur module there. I'm going to flip it from image to an icon. I'm going to go over to my design there. I'm just going to make that icon the default blue. And I'm going to center that text by rolling down to the text down below. If we get the one that just says text on its own, it'll do the title and the content. I'm just going to pop that in the middle. Fantastic. Okay, well now I'm going to go into the row that this blurb module is sitting in. To do that, I'm going to go into the row and the column that it's sitting in there. I'm going to go to the background of the column. I'm going to give it a background image. Pop in whatever image you want there. As you can see, that's behind our little blurb module there. Great. But I do want to give our little blurb module a bit of breathing room. And also, I want to make this whole row dark so that when I shift this blurb module over, we can see it and I'll change the text to light. So to do that, save our column settings here. Let's go into the actual row itself. We're in the row right now, background. I'm going to give it a black background, so I'm going to click on color. I'm going to make it black. Now we've got a bit of padding top and bottom there. I really don't want that on the row. I want that image to top touch both top and bottom. So to do that, I'm going to go to design, spacing, padding top and bottom. I'm just going to put a zero in the top, hit the chain. It'll do the bottom for us. Fantastic. I'm now going to save this. Let's go back into our blurb and make it so we can see that writing and also give it a bit of breathing room, top, bottom, left and right. So I'm going to go back into the blurb module itself, back over to design. In text, again, it'll do both title and content. I'm going to flip it from dark to light. Or you can change into any color you want individually down there in title and body text. And to give it a bit of breathing space, I'm going to go down to spacing. I'm going to give it 30 pixels all around. Just put in the 30, it'll put in the pics. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. And the same for left and right. Okay, well, we got our blurb module there. But I really want it pretty much central here. So still in the blurb, we can do that with a bit of negative margin at the top here. So I want to scoot it over to the left hand side there. So I'm going to give the left hand side negative 50% margin, negative 50%. That's pulled half of it over, but we still got a bunch over this side. So to counter that, I'm going to give it a positive 50% on the right hand side, 50 in the percent side. And we're pretty much in the middle there. You can adjust it to get it exactly where you want. Now, if you're intending to use these on tablet and mobile as well, you can click up here, click on the little cell phone type icon, and you can adjust it for tablet and mobile because they're going to display differently. So just click on what you want to adjust it for and put in a new value right there. Great. Well, that's pretty much our first one taken care of. So let's just save this. And there we've got our light text over a dark background and also over halfway over the image. And of course, our little icons halfway across there. Now for our next one, we're going to do a similar thing, but we're going to have them as actually separate modules right here. So let's add a new little section right here. Little blue button for a section. Regular section. 
Again, I'm going to use two columns in this. And again, I'm going to use a blurb module. And this time I'll, let it, I'll put the blurb module in the left hand side. And again, I'm going to switch it from image to icon. Just use that same icon. So you can see it there. Let's roll the page up. I'm going to go to design. Let's make that icon the same color. And we'll go down to our text. I'm going to leave it left aligned for this today. But I will make it light in color. It'll disappear onto the white background. But that's fine. Now, while we're in here, I'm going to go back to the content. I'm going to give it a background. Background's always under content. I'm going to give it a black. But I'm going to take the opacity about halfway down to 50. Somewhere around there. And just to taste, obviously. And again, I want to give it a bit of spacing all around so it's got a bit of breathing room there. So design, spacing. Give it 30 pixels all around again. That's great. Okay, well, let's save our blurb settings now. We're going to go into the row and the column that it's sitting in. Green tab for the row. We're sitting in column one. Under content, I'm going to give it a background image. And I think I'll pop that one in. That's okay, but I want to see that image on its own. And again, I want to sort of overlap this so it's halfway over the image. So while we're in the column, let's give it a bit of breathing room. I'm going to go to spacing. Let's perhaps give it 200 pixels on the top. Remember, we're in the column. I think 300 is too much. Let's do 200. And perhaps 50 pixels on the bottom, just so there's a bit more space for it. That's great. Now what I want to do is scoot this over again by about 50% or so. And again, don't forget, you can change the padding on tablet and mobile by clicking that little icon and rearrange things on tablet and mobile. For expediency, I'm just going to do it on the desktop version today. But you will need to adjust these if you want to use it on tablet and mobile. And of course, if you don't, you can go into your advanced and visibility and disable on tablet and phone entirely up to you great well let's see what changes here i'm going to go back into the blurb now i'm going to shift it over pretty much like we did with the other one so i'm going to go into the blurb itself design spacing and again this time i want to pull it over to the right so i'm going to give it negative 50 percent on the right negative 50 and a percent sign and positive 50 on the left. Now let's put in pixels there. Make sure you put in the percent sign or it will put in pixels by default. And there we have it. It's kind of halfway overlapped. And again, you can increment up and down to get it exactly where you want there. So we've got our text halfway overlapping our image there. Perfect, just what I wanted. Now the other way of doing this, I'm doing it with absolute positioning. So let's save this. We'll add a new section. Again, I'll make it a regular section. Again, I'm going to put two columns in. This time we're going to go a little bit different. I'll put my blurb module in the left hand column. Again, I'm going to flip to an image. Or oh, sorry, from an image to an icon. There it is right there. Again, I'm going to change that to the default blue. Now I think my text, I'll leave it left aligned there. I guess I could right align it for this. Let's do that for a bit of fun. I'm going to roll down to the text. And let's align it on the right for this one. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to add my image on this side. I'll roll down, let's find the image module. There it is right there. We'll pop in a little image. Fantastic. Now let's go back into this one and position it where we want it. Today, for this particular one, I'm going to use absolute positioning. 
and we'll have to adjust our section in a minute because when I use absolute, it's going to shrink the section up, but that's okay. Again, I'm going to turn this writing white so it'll be visible over that image. So let's turn it white and give this a little background. So I'm going to go into the blurb module to design text. I'm going to flip it from dark to light again. Back to content and background. We'll give it that dark background again. Black. Click on the dark field. I'm going to take that down to 50% or ish. Whatever works for you. And again, I want it to have a little bit of breathing room around there. So in design, we'll go to spacing and we'll give it 30 pixels all around again. Perfect. Okay, to position these with this particular example, I'm going to use absolute positioning. So I'm going to save my changes there. We're going to go into the actual row itself, the green tab. I'm going to go into this first column. I'm going to go over to advanced, down to position. I'm going to flip it from relative to absolute. And that's fine. I've got it on the left hand side top there. Now I'm going to save this back to the row settings. I'm going to go into this second column. I'm going to do the same thing, advanced position. I'm going to flip it from relative to absolute. I'm going to put it on the right hand side right like that. And you may have noticed now that our stuff that was below is on top of our images and text here. That's okay. Like I say, we need to adjust the height of our section to take care of that. And I'll do that in a moment. But while we're here, let's position these where we want. So vertical offset, I'm going to leave it pretty much where it is. Well, I want it to be over to the left a bit more. So I'm going to take it up to something like that. 182, that's fine. We'll save that. We'll go into the column next door, which is our text. Over to the advanced, the position here. Vertical offset, I want to bring it down a little bit. I don't know, about halfway, something like that. And we'll bring it across the other way by about 180 pixels or so, wherever it works for you. In fact, I'll put a little icon right where it should be there. Now, you may have noticed that it's cutting off the icon there. It's going behind it. So to pull it in front, we can adjust the Z index down below. Just slide it up to a higher number until that pops on top. Fantastic. Just exactly where I want it. Now let's sort out this section. If I go up into the section that he's in, because we've absolute positioned them, it's shrunk right down. So let's give it a minimum height of maybe 70 viewable height. And again, you can adjust this for tablet and mobile if you need to. If you're intending to use this on those devices. So I'm going to go into the section design sizing i'm going to give it a minimum height of 60 vh 60 viewable height and that's pushed that content back down below it there fantastic and again if you need to you can adjust this for tablet and mobile so there's three different ways of positioning your text over your images there let's just save this and exit the visual builder roll on down there's our first one, just using a bit of negative margin and a color in the row there to get it halfway on top of our image there. Here's one just using a bit of negative margin to move the blurb module around and give it padding on the actual column itself to display the image. And here's one using absolute positioning where we absolutely position these on top of each other. So I hope that's answered that question. There's three different ways of having text over an image or partially over an image. I hope that's what you were looking for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.